Sure. Good day, everyone. This is a recording of the uh, amortization plan. So we, this is a continuation of what we have discussed. Suppose we're going to loan a house worth 3.75 million. And uh, Pag-ibig always requires an equity or a down or a contribution from the loaner. So let's assume that the uh, contribution is 20%, which means that what we can loan will only be the market value multiplied by one minus the down payment. In other words, we can only loan 80%. So that makes 3 million. This is the loanable amount. According to Pag Ibig, for a loan of 3 million, for 10 years, the interest rate is 7.375. <clears throat> As you know, what's given is the nominal rate or the annual rate. Okay. However, when we make a loan in, say, Pag Ibig, uh, the payment will be <clears throat> monthly. So that means this is a monthly uh, payment. So we can now compute for the, <clears throat> for the <clears throat> monthly amortization. We can use the PMT function. <clears throat> PMT, a rate since uh, the payment is monthly, therefore the rate should also be monthly. We have a rate of 7.375%. So we have to divide it by the number of periods per year. Okay. <clears throat> and then the number of periods will be 10 years. Okay. Multiplied by 12. So the rate, uh, the uh, number of periods should also be the, the number of months. The interest rate will be interest rate on a monthly basis comma <clears throat> present value is 3 million okay comma there's no future value and the type is annuity ordinary so we can type here zero or just ignore that and we get the value of 35415.12 okay, so this is your monthly amortization we can we can give this a name monthly <clears throat> or maybe this one control shift f3 okay so the name is on the left column monthly amortization okay so we're now ready to come up with our <clears throat> amortization schedule so this is 10 years therefore there will be 120 periods so let me use Let's start with zero. Okay, so the, the, the date, the time we will be making alone. And then let's fill this. Okay, series, columns, step value is one up to 120. Okay, in columns. Okay, so we now have up to 120. Uh, months all right so for the first uh, for the month zero okay we're not going to pay anything yet because this is annuity due okay so no interest payment no principal payment and the month and principal the balance will be three million what we borrow okay <clears throat> then for the first month we're going to pay 35 or 15.2. Okay, now not all of that will go to uh, the principal payments. Okay, so a certain percent of that will go to your uh, interest. So how much would be the interest? The interest will be <clears throat> the uh, balance. We multiply that by the interest rate, which I'm going to fix. We're going to copy this uh, down. So I'm going to fix the, uh, fix the row. Okay, and then we divide it by 12 because the interest should also be interest per month. Okay, so for the first month, the 35,000 which we're going to pay, uh, of this 18,000 will, uh, will be paid as interest. Therefore, the, uh, what will go to the principal will simply be equal to the monthly amortization minus whatever was paid to interest. 
Okay. So this, the total of this is 35,415. Always the total of your interest and principal is 35,415. Okay, then at the end of the month, okay, the balance will be whatever the principal was at the previous uh, month minus the principal payment for the current. All right. So this, we can now repeat this process. Actually, we can copy this down. <clears throat> but let's first, Let's first try to see. So the interest for the second month will <clears throat> once again be the same as this. It will be whatever the month and principal was. Okay, multiply that by whatever the interest is. However, we have to fix the row divided by the number of uh, periods per year. Okay, so it will be the same as the computation for the interest of the previous month. So that's why we can actually uh, copy this formulas down. Principal will also also be equal to whatever was the monthly amortization minus what will be paid. What will be paid in month two for the to the interest. Okay. So if you check this, let's let's just check. So this is equal to sum okay so you take note that the the total amount paid is the monthly amortization so it will always be the same the total will always be 35.415.2 but a certain percentage of that will go to interest and a certain percentage of that will go to principal therefore the month and principal will be the previous month and minus whatever was paid to the principal. Okay, so this computation will keep on repeating. Okay, so you can copy this. All right. And you will see that at the end of the 120th month, there should be no principal balance anymore. It will be zero. Okay, if we check, alt equal to. D15 Okay, let me just check the yeah, two decimal places. All right, so the total interest paid is 1.2 million and the total payment to principal is 3 million as expected. Okay, because this is a principal balance. Okay, we can actually compute also for how much was, uh, how much was principal paid for each year. Okay, so for the first month, it would be from one up to 12. First year, I mean, okay. And then we can create a series, uh, 13 up to, for example, 13 up to uh, 23, that will be the second year. And then uh, 13 up to 24, then 25 up to 36, etc. So we can create a series here from, let's uh, create a series here, the columns, and it will be the step value is 12. Okay, so we will keep on increasing this by 12 up to uh, the last period is 120 months. Okay, so that will be 109, okay, 109 up to 120. So the stop value should be 109. <clears throat> 109 to 120, that will be 12, 12 months. Right, so we can see here. Okay, and then here also. You can just add 12 here, or we can also use the uh, series. Okay, step value is also 12, and then up to 120. I'm oh, sorry. I got to put here series column 12 up to 120. So it's increments of 12. 
and the last value is 120. Okay, so you can see here, these are now the increments of uh, 97 to 108. That's that's year, right? This is year one, two. Okay, 10 years, okay, and these are the months. So we can compute here the total uh, total interest and the total principal. Okay, so how much interest was paid for year one? So that's from month one up to month 12. So we can just add this, okay? So it's equal to sum of interest this one so that's the uh, total interest paid for year one right from month one up to month 12. okay and then copy this to get the total principal paid so for for year one a total of uh, total interest paid was 214. there were there was more paid for interest than for principal. Uh, and then you do the same for the next next years. So for year two, it will be from month 13 up to month 24, but uh, that will be a long process. So what we can do is we can use the cumulative. So there's this function I'm going to put minus here, cumulative interest payment, okay, this one. And the other one is cumulative principal payments. So cumulative interest, uh, rate payments. So our rate is, so we can compute this. Our rate is this one. You could have given it a name and then divided by 12. Okay, so that's a rate. The number of periods is also, you could have given this a name 10 years divided by also B9. You know, divide by 12. Okay, so that's your N per. <clears throat> Our present value is 3, 3 million. And then we'll also go into fix this because we're going to copy this uh, down. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> comma, start period is month one, comma, end period is month. So this is month one and month uh, month 12 comma type is end of the period All right so we don't need to fix this okay control enter oops something's wrong with our formula so negative cumulative interest payment okay the rate is b7 over b9 and then the N per is 12, N per is B8 over B9, B8 over B9. And then our present value is 3 million. We have to fix this, fix the row. And then start period is one. End period is Okay, that's 12. These are months, right? And type is zero. Okay, why am I getting a number sign? Okay, let me check this first. Okay, so uh, the uh, rate is Seven seven point three seventy five percent divided by twelve, and then the number of periods should be it's not divided by okay. it should be ten times twelve because there are hard hard twenty months. Okay, I think this will now be correct. All right, so we have let's uh, fix this two decimal places there, so it's the same. It's the same as 
the one that we manually computed. On the other hand, this will be cumulative principal payments. Okay, same thing. Okay, let me just copy this uh, formula here. What will change is the function. So that's cumulative principal payments. So same thing, the rate is uh, the uh, annual rate divided by the number of periods per year. And then the number N per is uh, 10 years times 12. And then your PV is also, your PV is also a 3 million, ticks the row, start date, end date, and then you have to put zero here, control enter. Okay, so I double the parenthesis. All right. Okay, so the total principal payment for year one is 210,760. Okay, we were able to get that. So once we copy this down, okay, so these are now the interest payments per year. You notice as we as we go on with our payment, the interest payments become smaller while the principal payments become higher. Okay, until such time that at the at that year 10, only a small fraction is being paid for interest and a big chunk is being now paid for principal. If we add this, alt equal to the total interest payment is 1.2 million, which is the same as the one that we got here. Exactly the same here. Okay, 1.249 million. All right. And this one here, 1.249 million. Exactly the same. Okay, so this is uh, what we need to know about uh, amortization. We have to know how to compute for, we have to know first, what's the amount to be financed. This one you can get from pag uh, schedule. Okay, and then this is, uh, uh, if it's, uh, it depends on the, the one conducting the loan. It can be five, 10, 15 years. The higher the uh, number of years, the more will be the interest, okay? All right, so that's how we that's how we construct the uh, uh, the amortization table. Okay.